Hi, uh, my name's Dan. I'm from Intelligel. We're based in Vancouver, Canada. And uh, at this show, we'd like to show you our final version of Planar 2. We introduced this at NAM this year, and we had a prototype at that time. And this is our pre-production model. So some things that are improved from the previous version. And, and I guess just to recap, if, you if you're not familiar with this product, it's a joystick controller that allows you to plug up to four audio sources and morph between them. Or you can take one audio source and steer it to four places, or you can just use it as a CV source. But more importantly, you can record whatever you do. And so that allows you to do some really interesting modulation or uh, real-time like animation of things. Right now, I have uh, this hooked up to just some of the parameters on our shapeshifter oscillator. And um, I'm just gonna hit play here. And right now it's just playing a short loop and I can punch in and record something at any time and it'll just change it. So if you're looping this to dance music, it's a good way to get some interesting performances. I'm not actually even listening to this right now so I don't know what it's sounding like, but <laughs> hopefully it's okay. Um, so, um, there's a new mode on this, if I click like this I can change modes and when I go into the scrub mode, uh, everything stops, but what happens is if I put CV into this input here, I can scan through the recording. So if I've had a short blip, um, so like let's right now, let's trigger this envelope and put into the CV input here and now the rate that it goes through that recording is dependent on this envelope that I'm triggering so I could go slowly through it or I could go very fast which is just a weird little blip and if I have an attack and a decay then I'm going forwards and backwards through it so let me just see what's going on here so I'm gonna do a different recording And adjust the time. Yeah, so you get the idea. Um, up here we have a few new one new modules. Um, so on the left here is called the Octolink, and it's eight inputs or outputs connected by a shielded Ethernet cable, and that goes to another case. This is the same um, format as the Doper A180-9. So if you have a 3U case, um, you can connect it to that. Beside that, we have this step sequencer. This is an earlier prototype, but we have a, we didn't, we didn't bring it, but this is a more developed version. It uses the same buttons as uh, on the planar here. And it's 64 steps with four tracks. There's things like individual swing, uh, gate length, clock divider, and other stuff per step. And uh, there's a, a performance mode which will allow me to loop between points. So I could just stutter the first beat, loop between uh, different sections, which is kind of fun for when you're playing live. And the last thing is uh, VPME, another Euro company from Germany, they dropped this off at the beginning of the show. It's a little oscilloscope, two channel oscilloscope, and tuner and um, I think we're gonna make a deal with him and release that this this summer It'd be kind of a nice little handy use module there's some other things that are coming out later this summer but for now this is what we where we're at